And I call the Honourable Member for Holt. Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, next month our nation will come together to commemorate the Anzac centenary. Anzac Day marks 100 years since 2015, since the Gallipoli landings, and is our nation's annual commemorative day for acknowledging and remembering those that served not only in the First World War, but in conflicts and operations throughout the last century and into this century as well. Um, in my federal electorate of Holt, we will be encouraging individuals and families and people to become involved in the Anzac centenary and attend the major commemorations that occur on that day itself, which are generally held in Cranbourne, Endeavour Hills and Berwick. I'm very pleased to say and to, say to tell this chamber that many local schools in my constituency, such as Fountain Gate Secondary College, Okura Secondary College and local sporting and community groups will also conduct their own Anzac Day centenary commemorations as well as the City of Casey. In the lead up to the Anzac centenary, <coughs> I, have, um, I would like to commend the government, the Australian government, on its Anzac um, centenary local grants program that assists and encourages communities across Australia to undertake their own Anzac centenary projects. In Holt, five Anzac centenary grant applications have so far been approved. Saffron Grove Retirement Village was awarded $814 for the installation of a flagpole for use at Anzac Day and Remembrance Day commemorative ceremonies. <clears throat> Even that small amount, Deputy Speaker, has made a substantial difference to the life of that nursing home, that home in that community. The Cranbourne Combined Patchworkers were awarded $3,420 to create a Cranbourne Anzac Centenary Triptych. The Providence Artists Incorporated were awarded $22,605 to hold an Anzac Centenary Arts Exhibition on the 3rd, 5th of July 2015. There'll be over 30 artists will be participating in displaying commemorative paintings at the Mechanics um, Institute Hall in Webb Street, Mary Warren. Alcura Secondary College was awarded $8,135 to install an avenue of memorial trees and establish an artefact display in the library at the college in commemoration of the First World War. And the Hampden Park Progress Association were awarded $17,510 to construct a garden, a mural and a memorial which will be a cenotaph as part of the brand new Hampton Park Anzac Memorial. Each of these projects, Deputy Speaker, benefit the local community <clears throat> and importantly, they honour the Anzac centenary in a respectful manner. I also wish to thank all of the members of the, um, the Holt Anzac Centenary Grants Committee, <clears throat> excuse me, that played a role in selecting these projects for funding, namely Leanne Petridis, Erica Maliki, Barry Rogers from the, uh, the local Cranbourne RSL, Judy Owen and Ben Hill. Um, the Anzac Centenary is, is a historic event for our nation, but I'm very pleased to see it commemorated in these ways on this very important day to our country.